Hey everybody, welcome back to Style Mom XO. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my January loves, regrets, and new buys. This video is going up early. It's going up on Tuesday. That's when you guys will be seeing this. Um, because I have a very special video going up on Friday with a special guest. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. I'm going to be filming that video right after this one. So I will be wearing the same thing because I don't need any more laundry. You know, the struggle's real when it comes to laundry. <laughs> I hate doing laundry. And if you have kids and husband, you guys know how fast it piles up. So you guys are getting two videos this week. And so yes, go ahead and keep your eyes out for that one. I have a lot of stuff to get into, so we're gonna jump right into it so this video is not too long. First off, I wanna go ahead and start off with, if you guys have seen a couple videos prior, and if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, which I will go ahead and leave the links down below, you guys would have already seen this. I'm obsessed with it. My husband got it for me for Christmas, and I've literally, I've literally been wearing it all month long and it is this oversized kind of sweater um oh, it is so comfortable it keeps me warm i've just been throwing it on with like a plain black cotton top with some jeans throwing my boots and i'm good to go out the door i absolutely love this it has like big old long sleeves it is long so it goes ahead and covers your booty so you can go ahead and wear leggings. My husband did awesome. He got it at Forever 21. So good job honey on that. Another thing that I've been wearing all month long, it has been cold here and my feet get so cold during the nighttime. So I went ahead and I got these at Target. Um, they are just comfy, cozy socks and they're oversized and it has this like wool all the way throughout the sock and my feet stay nice and warm and toasty all night long. I literally will put lotion on my feet, toss these on, and I'm just in heaven going to bed. So the two lip products that I've been wearing all month long is this is one. I went ahead and I featured these in my last month love regrets and new buys. Um, this was a new buy. These are the Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color. This one is in French Rose and then Pink Taupe. So I've been actually putting, of course, it with my Milani Brandy Lip Liner and putting these both on together. That is what I have on my lips right now. Um, I just, I love it. It's just that perfect pink taupey, more taupe than pink lip color. And I've been loving it. So this, these two, plus this lip liner is like perfection. So the other lip product that I've been wearing all month long is from ColourPop. It is from their Ultra Matte Lip. And this is in the color Stingray. Um, my sister-in-law went ahead and texted me and my brother's wife and she was like, you have to try the ColourPop matte, matte lip color. She's like, in Stingray. And so I went ahead, she actually told me Stingray and Beeper, but I wanted to go ahead and only get one to make sure that my lips, since my lips are very sensitive, um, they tend to peel a lot um, to make sure that my lips were gonna be able to handle it. And it is gorgeous and my lips are able to handle it so I'm so happy that's it right there it is just beautiful my lips do tend to dry out a little bit with this so I will go ahead and put a chapstick underneath before I apply it and then I have no problems so it is beautiful it is, so when I want a little bit of a darker color I'll go ahead and put the color pop one on but pretty much these two Sets are the only ones I've been wearing all month long if I'm putting color on my lips. So another thing um, that I went ahead and mentioned in my last Love Regrets and New Buys as a new buy, and I was really, really worried because my skin is so super sensitive, it was the Sephora Rose Mask. Um, my skin has been extremely dry, and I wanted to try this because it was hydrating 
and I was really, really nervous, but my skin did great with it, so I am so excited. It is, when I put it on my face, it was so cold and refreshing and hydrating, and it made my skin just a little bit more glowy. So I'm for sure going back and getting a couple more of these. I am so impressed, I'm so happy. My skin was able to tolerate it, which is a huge thing for me. So I loved this and I love the way that it went on. I love the way that my skin felt while the mask was on. And when I took it off, it just felt so good. So loved it. Another thing that I have been putting on my face, again, my face has been super dry. I went ahead and I mentioned this in my last video as well, my love regrets and new buys. And this is the Clinique. Uh, moisturizing gel so usually I will go ahead and use the lotion but this time I went ahead and used I would try it out the gel I love it it is so much more hydrating than the lotion one and what I've been doing is pairing it with an argan oil and so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this on my face I'll go ahead and put like two or three drops of the argan oil on my hands rub it in, put it on my face, and I've been noticing a huge difference with like little dry patches that I've been getting um, that that's been actually working. So I love that. Um, as far as primers go, I forgot that I actually had this inside my pile. I am a Smashbox primer girl. I have four of their primers. So uh, when I discovered that I still have this one. I was super happy. But it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating. So it is the blue one. Um, it's not that like silicone-y one, like the clear, which happens to be my absolute favorite out of them all. But this definitely goes ahead. I do see a difference when I put on my makeup, especially if you have like those little dry patches. If you put on the hydrating one, it's really gonna go ahead and hydrate the face and you just give it a minute to go ahead and sink in and you're good. So I went ahead and I ordered um, the Beauty Con BFF subscription box. Obsessed. One of the items that went ahead and came in this box is a Soap and Glory hand food lotion. This thing is almost out. I think it only has like that much left in here. I am completely obsessed. If I could buy a tub of this and just lather my whole entire body in it, I would. It just instantly hydrates. It is amazing. The best lotion, hands down, I have ever put on. And so I'm actually wanting to go out to Ulta to see if I can go ahead and find it in the store because online, they're sold out of it. I can't get it. So, um, this amazing if you have dry hands dry skin and you need some hydration in your life this is the go-to i am really excited to even try out their other products so love it okay so my regrets of the month is this soft lips um i went ahead and just picked this up because i thought this replaced the little cubes that they went ahead and came out with um my lips do amazing with the cubes. That is pretty much the only chapstick that my lips do not peel with. Um, so I thought this actually replaced it, but my lips peel with this. And I can't find the cubes anywhere. So that's a problem. So this is not, this don't work for me. <laughs> so I tried it, don't like it. Um, the next two regrets, I well I purchased the BFFs, the, Beautycon BFF box um, and these two products, the next two products went ahead and came in it and I re regret putting this bad boy up on my face if you saw my last video. This is the Murad, Murad? Murad Hydrating Toner. This is, this is the little guy that went ahead and gave me all the texture on my skin. My skin reminded me real quick who was boss. It ain't me. It's this. <laughs> so here I'm trying to try new products and my face was just like, what you doing? No, 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 no. I'm boss. I tell you what you can put on your face and you know what you can put on your face and toner isn't one of them. So 
this just not a good not good for me I have extremely sensitive skin and that just was like uh -uh. so another thing that went ahead and came inside the box which I am a huge obviously color pop fan love their stuff so when I went ahead and got the highlighter in the box I was like awesome amazing <coughs> yes let's go ahead and try it out but I don't know I kind of feel like it comes off easy and it it goes on but then it kind of I don't know it kind of just disappears so I don't know if maybe but it's like it looks amazing see it's a little hard to see I don't know if you guys are able to kind of see so I don't know I might actually use this as like a highlighter on the top of my brow bone but usually I don't like to wear highlighters during winter or fall um, usually during maybe time springish and summer I will um, when I'm in the mood for wearing highlighters on my cheekbones and stuff usually I will go ahead and put it on my cupid's bow just to make your lips pop a little bit more but other than that I really don't wear highlighter during these months but I obviously it came in the box, so I was super excited. I wanted to try it out and just kind of disappointed with it. So I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to my new buys. I would have to say that this is probably my favorite. As soon as I started filming videos, of course, my brown mirror that is on like the swivel, the big up close one, and then the regular mirror, it broke on me. I've been keeping my eyes out for another one that wasn't like crazyly priced. And then we went to Ikea. Look at this thing. Like, it is so big. I'll show you guys this side so that it doesn't, so you guys aren't getting blinded. It is, I mean, look at my face. It is so huge. It is heavy. It was only $17 at Ikea. I mean, and let's be honest, who really uses the big magnifying side anyways? I don't need to see anything that up close, I'm just saying. So this I felt was perfect, it was good weight. I am completely obsessed with it. I was so excited when we got it, so yeah. So <clears throat> I went over to CVS the other day when I got my antibiotics and lo and behold, my cube, this was the only one that was there. I'm like, did they find them in a box somewhere and pull them out? And this is like the only lonely one that was there. It was like, it, it was meant to be. So this is the one that my lips do amazing with and do not peel. And I thought that this was replacing this, but this makes my lips peel, this doesn't. So this is the Soft Lips Cube 5-in-1 Lip Care. Hydrates, replenishes, smooths, protects, and adds shine. I love this. Um, I found them online, so that's what I'm just going to have to do from now on is order them online. So love the fact that I found this again. I had to throw them in here, throw a little shout out to that. Um, the two eyeshadows that I recently got in from ColourPop. See, I love ColourPop. I don't know why the highlighter. But this one is called Amaze. Again, my sister-in-law that told me about their matte lips went ahead and told me about this color. It is gorgeous. It is just like a bronzy kind of gold. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then this one, and these are their Super Shock shadows. So they're so reasonably priced. Um, I think these shadows are $5 each. You get a lot of product for it. This one is called Central, Central Perk. Right here, it is like a gorgeous deep plum color. Ugh, I love it. And that's it right there. Like, beautiful. So, so excited to go ahead and get some of that stuff. And I actually did place another order with ColourPop and then BH Cosmetics. So when that stuff comes in, I'll go ahead and kind of do a little bit of a haul. So be looking out for that. 
One of the other things that I went ahead and got inside the Beautycon BFF box was this Maybelline uh, mascara, a push-up drama mascara. Um, I'm really excited to go ahead and try this out. Um, I'm gonna kind of think of, I'm gonna do like a mascara showdown like my mascara my ride or die covergirl professionals against this and kind of see what the difference is and kind of see what this does compared to the other one so i think i'm going to go ahead and do that coming up and then i went ahead and got some morphe eyeshadows i went ahead and got this blue it is called sapphire it is this gorgeous blue color. I mean, can I see? Ugh, look at that. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but not too much. I mean, it's so pretty, I love it. And then this other one, it is called Dirty Martini. And this one I actually wore, I think in my TMI tag video. So that's the only time I put it on, but it is a beautiful green, like deep green color. And there it is right there. So beautiful. So, oh, and one more. And this one is called Pearl because I wanted to go ahead and kind of get like a highlighter color. So this is called Pearl. It's just a really pretty, let's see, so pretty. So that is it. That completes my love regrets and advice for January. And like I said, go ahead and make sure to check out my video on Friday, a special video with a special guest. And I will go ahead and leave my links down below for Facebook and Instagram so you guys can go ahead and keep up with all the goodies and everything that I'm posting. Until next time, I will see you guys on Friday when I go ahead and post the other video and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!